Who or what controls us? Who calls the tune in our lives? Those who are addicted to alcohol, drugs, pornography, it's those things that are directing them, calling, calling the shots. And when you move from even those sorts of things that most of us can say, oh, well, that's not me, and then think of things like road rage, gossip, jealousy, these are things also that control our lives. But the interesting thing with these things, these powers that we allow to control us, they disfigure us. They rob us of our basic humanity. This feast of Christ the King, this is the time when we can bow down before someone, acknowledge allegiance, be loyal, follow the words without being a puppet or a slave. Our humanity is enriched and enhanced. This is the reality of living the Christ life. We, we, we speak of our things like this is Christ the King. Christ simply means the anointed one who rules us. We were anointed with the oil of chrism at our confirmation and baptism. It penetrated our skin, but it also penetrated our very spirits. And as St Paul says, when we are the subjects of this king, we are transferred from a kingdom of darkness to a kingdom of light. We move into other people's lives, not looking to make them puppets or slaves. We are slaves set free. We are now puppets without strings. The only voice we listen to is the voice of the spirit that the Lord breathed into us. The king who died, not in grandeur, died on a cross between two thieves. This is the one when we acknowledge him and allow him to be the guide in our life, the controller. This is where we find our humanity really flowering.